Hello, hello, Power Up fans uh, here with you live. So today, I figured I'd do something a little different, a little fun, uh, and something that I'm finding to be useful in my world and thought I would share it with you. So real quick, as I'm waiting for people to come on live, uh, I want to talk about paradigm. Um, a paradigm is, here's the definition, is a view or perspective in a single phrase, a guiding principle. It can be thought of as a framework of beliefs. A paradigm helps us to make sense of the world around us. And many of you probably already know what power ups paradigm is, but for some of you, you may not. So, um, but as a reminder, the paradigm for power up is what you focus on improves. So I believe that in all aspects of your health. So whatever you focus on will improve. If you're not focusing on it, well, it's not going to improve, right? All right. So I also want to introduce myself. I'm Catherine Hood. I am the founder of power up. Uh, my mission is to help individuals establish healthy habits, rituals, and an identity that creates a long-lasting, healthy lifestyle. I'm passionate about inspiring others to become the healthiest versions of themselves and giving them so much more than just a smaller waistline. I can help individuals have a new outlook on life and have more energy, increased confidence, greater success in your career, and so much more. Again, I'm the founder of Power Up. I am a certified health coach. I'm also certified as a life coach. I hold a personal training certification as well. I meet people struggling every day, feeling confident and not loving their bodies, not understanding where to improve their health, where to start, trying every diet and failing. I'm passionate about helping anyone that desires change and is ready feel better by helping them reclaim their health through making better food choices, being more active, and helping manage their stress with an effective plan. All right, so I want to talk about clarity. You know, we all need some clarity in our lives. Um, High-performance individuals have a large amount of clarity in their lives, actually. Uh, so here's some questions. You know, what are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do next week, next month, next year with your life? What are you going to focus on? What are you going to aspire to achieve? Now, I know that as I'm recording this, you might be watching this at a later date, but as I'm recording this, we are approaching the beginning of 2020. So a lot of us are getting a lot of clarity right now. We're thinking about the new year, what we're going to do in this new year, and creating goals, right? So we, I think a lot of us are trying to gain clarity, but are we doing it just once a year? Or are we doing it daily? Are we doing it multiple times a day? So that's what I'm going to talk about a little bit today. Now, you know, I think having a good amount of clarity is going to keep you engaged in the life and the world around you. Um, it'll also give you fulfillment. So who are you um, and how do you get this fulfillment? What do you really want in your life? What is meaningful and what does fulfilling actually mean to you? So as you're thinking about this, watching this, maybe answer those questions, maybe in your mind or write it out if you desire. If you're not watching this live, you can actually pause it too at any point. But increasing clarity will improve all areas of your life. So what is right for you? That's the question. Um, maybe becoming curious. Like, well, I don't know. What does clarity mean to me? Being open and being curious enough to seek it out and be willing to explore it. Having mindful thoughts, you know, sitting back and creating the space and time to 
really figure out what it is that you want. Asking yourself these questions. What is your perspective on life? What do you value in your life? What is, what is important to you? What are your strengths, but also what are your weaknesses? Again, coming at the end of this year, maybe looking back and saying, what could I have done better in 2019 that I can do in 2020? So what is your plan currently in life? What are your goals? What are your short-term goals? Maybe next week, next month, next quarter, or next year? What is your plan? Or five years, 10 years down the road? But these things should be thought about not just once a year, once every 12 months, they should be thought about every day. And I'll give you a tool and a way to do that that's super, super easy and will give you some clarity and keep you focused going forward this year. So thinking about where you want to go, what is it that you really want? Knowing these answers will improve the quality of your life for you will know what it is that you really want and what you want to look forward to having in it. Something to work towards. Confidence comes from knowing what it is that you want and you desire. Okay, so having some clarity, creating some goals, pointing the boat in the direction that you want. Think of it as being in a boat in the ocean, right? If you don't have any clarity, you don't have anywhere to point the boat, are you just floating about in the ocean? Are you just out there just lost in the darkness? You must have clarity. You must have some direction. Self-awareness is key. You're not going to get it from a book. You're not going to get it from watching my videos or YouTube videos. This comes from within. So what is it that you really value in your, in your life? The more clarity you have on what you want to achieve, how it will be done, what steps you need to create, what habits you need to start doing daily, and having a deadline on these is really helpful. Having the accountability, you know, putting it out there and having someone call you up and say, hey, how are you doing on that? You moving forward? These will give you a greater chance to complete your goal and do them even on your worst day, right? You'll, you'll keep pointing that boat in the right direction. So here's what I want you to do. Here's your little homework assignment. And if you're not watching this live, that's great because you can pause this. But how would you describe your future self in detail? Like you can get a piece of paper out and write it all out. What does your future self desire? What is it that you want? And use a lot of descriptive words. Figure it out. Write it out. Own it, love it. Um, now, once you have that figured out, what you desire, and maybe you just know right at the top of your head, maybe you picture it, maybe you see it, maybe you visualize what it is that you want, maybe you already know what you want. Describe it in three words. So if you've written out what it is that you want, what you desire, in descriptive words, get really, you know, journal about it. Just set the timer for 10 minutes and really get deep into thought on it. Pull three words from it or find three words that help encompass pretty much what you're looking to achieve. Now these words need to be in the positive. So three words in the positive of what you want for your future self. Most of us kind of think about this again, New Year's Eve or around New Year's and then put it on the back burner. Don't think about it again. Life hits you a million miles an hour with a trillion things going on and you just don't think about it anymore. But if you were to do this every single day, 
not this exactly, but if you were to figure out three words that encompass what you desire, what you want in your life, and had them part of your daily routine, it'll make a big difference. It'll add a lot of clarity to what you do daily. So this will create self-awareness, introspective, which is inward looking, because all of us do have an internal dialogue. We all do. Um, but a lot of us have a negative dialogue. You know, like a record player playing over and over and over again. You're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You can't do it. You always fail. Right? A lot of us have that. So this will, I'm about to give you, you know, the next step. So you have your three words. Please share them if you're watching this. If you know what they are, I will show you what, share with you what mine are. Um, but having this clarity, having these three words will help with that internal dialogue. Um, reducing those negative thoughts, the judgmentalness, the questioning ourselves, why we haven't done better or achieved more. It'll help put that up, back that away. Let's live and work on being our best self every day. And this is going to help. Being more intentional about who you want to become with a simple, simple step. These three words. And I'm going to tell you how to use them in just a minute. So don't let your current or past situations hold you back. You can't control the past. You can't control what other people think of you. You can't control what other people do to you. You can't control the future. All you can do is control your thoughts and what you do every day and those small little tiny habits and rituals that you have. Every day, minimum of twice a day. I do it twice a day, but three times a day would be good too. Um, I would suggest that you read your three words aloud. And I'm going to give you a way to remember, but reflecting on those words or if something happens, reflect on those three words. So having three checkpoints or two checkpoints is what I do. I've been doing this now for a while and I really, really like it. I feel a bit of energy when I read these words. In fact, a couple times this last week, I was like kind of like scrambling in my mind. Like I can remember two of them. But I was like, what's that third one? What's that third one? Oh, yeah. Um, and I needed it. And I needed it. And it felt good in the moment. And I was like, okay, okay. Yep, yep, okay. So using these as a checkpoint throughout your day, a uh, minimum of twice. Asking yourself, am I living out my life as I truly desire? Because remember, these three words are what you desire as your future self what you desire in the future. So these three words should be easy to memorize. For some of you watching this video, I know Candace, you were watching it or still are, I hope. Um, you know that I teach um, creating a motivating factor. Usually a motivating factor is really long and detailed, but three words you can memorize. But making sure that when you read your three words, ask yourself, did I live fully today? Did I live through these three words? Or if you're reading it in the morning or thinking about it in the morning, what am I going to do today to live out these words? Or maybe if you have a moment where you lose your temper or you get kind of frustrated or frazzled, ground yourself and say these three words. Okay. You know, um, three words could be laugh. Actually, in a way, I'll tell you what my three words are. <laughs> I almost gave it away. So my three words are laugh, inspire, and listen. I believe that we should laugh every day. You know, think about it. If you don't laugh, the day's kind of boring, right? Monotonous. So I always find a way to laugh. Whatever it is, whatever I need to do to ground myself and find a way to laugh, whether it be with my family or Tux, my dog, if you don't know, 
Um, find a way to get some laughter. Maybe it's, maybe I do need to resort to um, a video or whatever, but find a way to have laughter. Did I laugh today? Um, inspire. It's really important to me to inspire people to move forward in their health, whatever that is, whatever phase they're at, whatever level they're at. Maybe it's starting. You're starting again, or maybe it's moving to the next level. We're all moving forward in our fitness and health or moving backwards. Not, it's, it's one or the other because we're all getting older, right? But are you moving forward or are you moving backwards in your, in your health? I, I believe we all are doing one or the other. So I love to inspire. I feel fulfilled when I inspire people. Um, and listen. I find that listening is giving me a greater opportunity to be a better mother, a better wife, a better coach. So am I truly listening? Am I hearing every single word that the other person that's having a conversation with me is having? Or am I thinking about the next thing that I want to say? Am I truly present? So those are my three words. Now those three words might change. They've been working for me for the past couple of weeks, but I feel like they really provide kind of just like a backbone of what I want to do on a daily basis. I want to laugh. I want to inspire and I want to listen. Am I tackling all three of those things? So those are my three words. Feel free to steal them, but I encourage you to look deeply and find your own three words. I'd love it if you'd share in the comments. Um, but creating a way that you can remember those three words could be a lot of different ways. I'll, I'll share an idea with you in a moment, but you know, maybe it's writing it on a sticky note. I love sticky notes. I have sticky notes everywhere, but using a sticky note, um, write them everywhere, put them on, you know, your computer on your, maybe on your phone or in your steering wheel on your car, but having those three words until you have them memorized, but reflecting on those three words minimum of twice a day. This small, tiny habit can help provide clarity in your life. So how long has it been since you sat and reflected on being a better version of yourself? Was it 2018? Most of us don't take the time to do it. And this just takes seconds, guys, seconds. Once you get your three words, try them on, see how they fit for a couple of days. Maybe you need to adjust them. But take seconds, you know, one second to read these three words. Three seconds if you read it three times a day, it's no big deal. But just reflect. And it gives you a time and a space to go, did I laugh today? Did I inspire today? Did I listen? And then saying a little victory inside, like, I did all three of those things today. It's just three things. So these words should be inspirational, they should be positive, they should be motivating, they should be your words. Three other words uh, for an example would be alive, playful, and grateful. Now, here's the tip that I'm going to give you that I do, is I, create, I created two alarms in my phone, um, and I put it on a timer, or a, the time that's really delicate and cute, not the uh, uh, noisy, scary noise, um, but I created the one, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a light flutter noise, but I created two alarms, one in the morning that should be well after I've woken up, but pretty early after I wake up and then one in the evening, um, before I would go to bed, um, that has those three words on it. So a soothing alarm, not a abrupt, scary alarm, but these three words should describe who it is you deeply desire to embody and want to become or something or a way you want to improve on your life. Reflect on those words and think back over the past week right now. Did you live by these three words? Maybe today, if you're watching this in the evening or live right now, did you embody those three words that you think of today? I did. I made sure I had opportunity to do all three of those today. So, and think back to this last year, did you embody those three words? 
how, if all, at all, will having these three words be a part of your daily routine or change how you act or behave or maybe how you even perceive others, right? These three words should sum up the best version of yourself in the future. And in final, how are these meaningful to you? Ah, Courtney, I love yours. Laugh, motivate, and caring. Thank you for sharing. I like the laughter one. Um, I don't think we laugh enough. I really don't think that um, I'm stealing your three words because I like it. <laughs> um, I don't think we laugh enough. I really don't. I feel like, and, and like I said, you know, it, it really, you got to be intentional about it, right? You can't fake a laugh. I mean, I guess you could, but I want to laugh. I want to intentionally find ways to enjoy the day, the week, the month, whatever. Um, but let's be intentional. Let's pick three words. I know that the big thing, like I posted a couple weeks ago about one word. And I'll have to think about what word I put up there. Um, I think it was inspire, maybe. I don't know. It's one of my words that I just love. But I got thinking about it and I was like, man, one word is just not enough. But I feel like three words can mean so much more and deeper. So I love that. I love yours, Courtney. Laugh, motivate, and caring. And I believe that, like I said, laughter is good. It's a great word. One of mine as well. Motivate, beautiful. So that can mean a lot. Like I'm thinking, you know, motivating your friends, your family, people around you people on social media. And from what I know about you, Courtney, you've come a long ways this year and you're doing amazing. So I know you're motivating probably more people than you even know. Like people don't tell you, majority of them don't tell you that you've inspired them. I've learned that. Caring, I believe that you're um, a beautiful, caring mother, wife, and friend. So yeah, and I'm sure there's even deeper relationships that you're thinking of that I'm not aware of, but I think those are beautiful. So thank you for sharing. But anyways, if you are watching this live or recorded, please share with me your three words. Love to know what they are. I also have the link to my link tree. We have a couple things coming up at the beginning of the year. We have registration for 30 days to a two minute plank. So planks are really dear, near and dear to my heart. I just came from the gym, literally, and did my two minutes and 15 second plank. Um, I think planks are really important. So is there a need to go over two minutes? Not necessarily. I feel like mastering two minute planks is great. Um, and then having other core exercises built in as well. But planks are incredible and, and a great way to improve your core. So that is free. It starts. I think the 6th of January. And the reason is, is because of my platform. Yep, so the 6th of January that starts. Um, the platform that I use, Trainerize, it's based on a week starting on Monday, so it was just easier that way. Um, and then the registration for 30 days, oh, sorry, 66 days to a new habit. That will start when does that start? That starts January 2nd. That starts Tuesday, guys. So I need to get that up and running for you. But 66 days to a new habit. You pick a habit and we work on that habit for 66 days. It'll be ingrained in you. It will be ingrained. Like it, you will not break free from it. I won't allow it. So um, but 66 days to a new habit. And if you want help with your three words, designating your three words, I invite you to schedule a call uh, with me in that link tree. You'll find it on num uh, number two. Uh, so the first two links on my link tree are the two, uh, the plank challenge and then the registration for the 66 days. You'll find that at the top. But the two, number two is access to my calendar and I'd love to chat with you, help you with your three words. It doesn't cost any money. It's just a conversation with me on the phone. And we'll find your three words and discover the meaning of them. And I'll help you out in any way possible. So I'm here for you. If you need anything, as always, let me know. Bye, guys.